Howdy, Brian Michael Galloway coming to you from We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company.com and uh, one of the closets in my house where I keep my snake. What is a snake? Well, I'm about to explain it to you. An audio snake is nothing alive. Um, it's actually a bundle of wires, and that bundle of wires runs from the stage out to the PA board. A lot of folks have been saying, hey, you know, I got all my microphones on, on stage and the board is like out in the middle of the audience or maybe stuffed off in a corner somewhere in the back of the room. How do I get uh, microphones run all the way out there to the board? Well, the answer is the snake. This one I got is 150 foot long and um, on the stage goes this box. And this box has got a number of inputs and that number of inputs is numbered. One, two, three, four, etc. all the way up to 24 and your microphones plug in here and I usually say well let's take the first five mics for uh, vocals and plug them into one, two, three, four, and five. That'll be important in just a second. So um, okay, well good enough. That goes on the stage. Oh by the way there's four more down here A, B, C, and D. You'll notice these are kind of reversed inputs. They're not the inputs, they're outputs. Let's explain that in a second. On the other end of this 150 long, foot long cable that you run all the way to the back of the room is this big bunch of uh, you know, plug-ins and surprisingly enough these things are numbered. They're numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So you plug these into their respective inputs for, uh, on the channels on the board. So uh, channel 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 you plug them in right. The, Mics you plugged into channel one, two, three, and four, and five on the on the snake box will come out one of these uh, you know the correct uh, one of these uh, plugins or yeah <laughs> anyway now there's a couple different kinds of plugins though there or plugs rather this one is a little different shape and this is the kind of plug that actually comes from uh, the the PA board the mixing console. It's an output. It carries the signal back to the box, and we run a microphone-style cable from it to the amplifiers that uh, then power the speakers. So that's how the sound gets back. If you got an extra one, um, sometimes I use actually an extra mic channel to carry the signal back to control the lights, and I'll explain that uh, in a, another segment. But anyway, uh, I've uh, been noticing out there on Facebook and different places. There's a lot of great discussion about. Um, a lot of different aspects of, uh, of managing yourself and whether or not you should have a record company or not. And of course, you know my feelings about that. Um, but, uh, you know, check out Bob Baker and check out, um, gee, Madeline Sklar and a couple of the other folks. They're teaching, um, you know, some of the more theor theoretical stuff. My job right now, and we'll get to the promotion, that kind of stuff later, but my job right now is to talk about, uh, what? Build your band. We've got a number of things covered on that. Uh, get your gear. That's what we're working on now. Make some news and rock the world is uh, the divisions. And so I'm going through a little bit of each one of those things. And right now I'm trying to, as much as I can, demystify uh, the PA equipment for you. So you have a clue and, you know, when you walk on stage you don't have to say, uh, she had never seen one of those before. Don't ever do that, by the way. It marks you as a rank amateur. So um, even if you are, you don't want to let all the, you know, the tech people know that. Anyway, uh, so uh, that's the snake and that's how it works. It's pretty uh, stupid simple piece of equipment but it's critical when you're running a live, you know, big live sound uh, show and you need to, to get all the stuff on the stage somehow back to that, uh, that board where they can mix it out front. And I am Ryan Michael Galloway and I'm coming to you again from We Don't Need No Stinking Record company.com and a closet in my house.